I'm going to replay it and put the song radio on. Okay. Uh, let me go to the prison report really quick. What the fuck? Break your guy. Yeah, I'm good. What happened? I have a chia pet. Oh, uh, no, I, just I thought you were getting shot at. Fucking hell. I'd be yelling a lot louder if I was getting shot at it. This okay. thing would be on the ground and I would have my gun in my hand. Okay, hold on. Let's get on. Just in case anything happens. Get on channel 7. Channel 7? Oh, is it 12? Uh, all right, let's go, 20, let's go 12. Wait, I remember. I have to look at the SOPs again. There's a, there's a station it's, for this. Is there a channel in there? I thought it was... Okay. There is I'm a channel somewhere on the SOP. I can't remember what it is. It's all in the, in the block. SASM on channel 12. Hello. All right, bruv. I'm just going to go and uh, run this weed and put it in an evidence locker. See if there's any DNA attached to it. I'll be there. Uh, you want to name roads? Is that what car drive on? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's core. Sock 22, hey. Chuck them for 25 months, uh. I appreciate you. Welcome back. Uh. Any warrants today? Where's the master station getting more floors? I have no idea. I genuinely have no idea. Uh oh. We faxed this for the chopper, yeah. Postmodern jukebox, Lady Quirin. Fucking love that group, dude. Might be a different group, though. That's great. Why is there a... Why is there a gunshot in here? Where is Craig? Oh, they went together. <clears throat> okay, anyway, Prism. So, <clears throat> there's the mission command. And then I did this right up. Uh, so here's my flags. So we had the first two that I found. Uh, uh, anonymity is the best thing someone can have. Never trust the government. Life is short, spice it up a little. Uh, so the last two I found was life is short, spice it up a little, and active measures. That's the one, yeah. First one, jukebox, fucking fantastic. So I haven't actually looked at these, um, but life, life is short, spice it up. I want to see if these mean anything. Like... Uh, active measures does. How many flags? Four. 
Active measures is a term used to describe political warfare conducted by the Soviet Union and the Russian Federation. See, this is really interesting. So, listen to this. This flag, active measures, uh, so, the flag active measures was found in this song. So, the, so the video, okay, the video, I did, I did a little bit of work off stream, obviously. So, the video had, that I'll show you in a second. I can show you now, actually. Let me get the video up for you. So on the PRISM website. So let's go to PRISM. So you've seen it before. I went to PRISM. The way I found this one was I did GoBuster. I did a big word list. I found this next uh, page, which was slash documents, right? Um, now, I'm not going to play it but um they got me to this page prism documents take a deep look dot mp4 now let me show you the video i'm gonna mute it that didn't mute it <laughs> okay <clears throat> i will show you the video but I, it had this song in the background uh, I can I can play the song on Spotify so it's going to mute the audio on stream. It had this song. So that was it. Right? Now, I, I downloaded that video, downloaded the video, and ran EXIF tool on my Linux virtual machine through that video. And that's in the comments. Um, and let me grab the picture of this because I... I got it. Hold on. I got this. So when I ran EXIF tool on the MP4, I got this. Create a prism flag active measures. Right? That's all from that MP4. So this was hidden in the metadata of that video. Crazy. Fucking crazy. Now, what goes even crazier, and I don't know whether this is a leap, but we just Googled, right? What is active measures? So if I look up active measures again, Active measures is a term used to describe political warfare conducted by the Soviet Union and the Russian Federation. Now, apparently, um, no, the music playing is fine. Um, this so it says the term which dates back to the 1920s includes operations such as espionage, propaganda, sabotage, and assassination. This song has like like some kind of like deep hold on let me find it again because i fucking looked up this song uh, and it was like i think it was chosen for a reason i don't know whether it was or not but this song is like um it's all about how you're not afraid of death which is like fucking a spooky man. It's like you you know you're gonna die and you're not afraid of death anymore. 
So I don't know whether that's got something to do with active edges. Obviously, it's like Russian as well. Or like it's all in Russian. Uh, so it's all like... It's all fucking connected, man. Uh, um, then there was like, be very afraid, uh, was in that video, um, be very afraid was a quote from The Fly, again, I could be jumping, which is obviously like the science fiction movie, um, there's fucking, there's so much that we could dig into here, there's so much. Again, yeah, exactly, operator. Like, they, are they yes. are they just gonna yeah. fucking go all, all out because they're not afraid to die? I need to close out a report, uh, yep. investigation. The fact that active measures is like with this song is like. I don't think I have the authority to do that, but I can ask. Okay. I mean, I yeah, I don't know. Angels, I don't know. So it's it's kind of tough for me to. There was a bunch so exactly of I screenshot everything. It close it. Just say, there like, was, but then down. there was other quotes in that oh, video. Um, there was like whatever you do don't fall asleep uh there was also um uh so it's a investigation into a lawyer there was one that was like oh. Oh. i want to show you guys but yeah okay he technically look at this we could push harassment on him this is one that's interesting me and it like it. um i, I can't I figure out what it's saying speaking to a judge and things like that it's like Gra it, it never showed fully, but it looks like a different text to everything else. It looks like G R. Don't help me. It's something I feel like. I'm almost thinking this might be A R. I can't tell what it is though. It sucks from the officer's point of view. Yeah. So I want to go through each of these. I'm gonna make a different report so that I can have all the evidence in one place. So. The lawyer who really wants to get his name known and is being um but there was a lot of there seems to be a lot of movie quotes which i think is quite interesting and can, that might give us like a, some insight into exactly who's making this stuff you know what i mean because there was like one two freddy's coming for you there was that that, that was in there too what our investigation found we want to put it to the doj let me let me double check with a referral of uh refer for him to be yeah one two freddy's coming for you was in there too let me show you you'll have to like tilt your head a little bit but in final it's the one two freddy's coming for you let's see yeah on the right yeah i think that makes sense i mean if you don't think you need to go with criminal charges i don't think there should be any questions there really if you you know yeah it's really really interesting that's something and it's very well done that if if I was a stuck-up lawyer... You were joking? No, it's in there, Billy. It's in there. There's there's a lot of movie quotes in this prism stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So, I want to get King on, on this. Whoever this... I've never heard of this Mulcher Doma. They're fucking awesome, dude. This song's sick, dude. Because right now it can kind of seem to pee. I, from the way he's very heavily targeting police, it could seem like we're just retaliating, and I think the the point would get missed. You know what I mean? I think yeah. it'd be a better decision to go with that. I think that's fair. You know, is is he going to benefit more from jail or actually getting educated on the matter? Yeah, and I feel that education is going to be the greater the greater good here. The yeah, greater option. I agree. Yeah, I, I don't think you're gonna have any problems with that decision personally. I think that's uh, I think that makes complete and total sense. Cool. Yeah, I just need to get authorization to say yes. That's okay. Go ahead with this. <laughs> Can we give that kind of authorization, Richard, or does it need to go to Angel? What's it? So Craig wants to close off a report with a decision that he's making. Uh, it's the Crocodile Steve one. So mm -hmm. um, instead of jailing him for harassment, he's probably going to put it in as a bar complaint, and hopefully he'll learn something as opposed to going to jail over it. He doesn't necessarily need to. I mean, it's your case, Craig, at the end of the day. Like, if that's the yeah. one you're working... Um... Yeah, I just don't know if I need authorization to execute the final decision on it. Do I need... Since I'm rookie marshal, can I just execute the decision on it? Or do I need to get approval from, like, a deputy marshal plus or something? Oh, uh, I don't think it would hurt to get uh, a second opinion from a deputy marshal. Um, yeah. 
yeah so if uh, i mean check the king uh, and if king agrees with you then i think you've got all, you've done your duty like getting a opinion from a deputy marshal and then i think you've done your due diligence at that point so uh i wouldn't worry about it just go ahead and do it <clears throat> yeah i'll just go for it craig it sounds i think your reasoning sound yeah all right sounds good yeah i was talking to the king about it and that's why we were just curious if i had to get like director approval to execute i the don't decision. think so i don't think so okay I'm not aware of anything like that. I mean, unless yeah. it's something like big uh, that would require certain pieces of equipment or whatever, I mm -hmm. don't think we need to. Can, can you Sorry, come uh, drive me and get some you. something to drink and eat, please? Um, wait, hold on. I saw something in here. Yeah. Never mind, I found food now. Are you, are you good? I need to go anyway, so I'm going to go and get some. There's some There's some here. Wait, oh. Oh! Drink. I just need drink. I'm just gonna have that. Oh my god. So, um, besties and Pred. I actually wanna. I wanna coin you in. Hold on. Let me. Let me jump a trip with Craig. Craig. Uh, Craig. I'm gonna. I'm gonna show uh, King this prism stuff. You, you okay with that? Prison stuff. Prism. Prism. Oh, prism. Actually, oh, yeah, coming here. Fuck. Um, I've already I seen he already that. Saw I thought he's already yeah, seen yeah. stuff. Yeah, it's a bunch yeah, of I went through the website. Stuff. I saw all the leaked texts from like Soze and someone else. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Well, I've kind of got an update. Um, I kind of oh. went, I kind of went crazy over the weekend. Um, so I, I, Craig. So I text that number on the website. The that said join us. Um, I got a boner phone with a boner sim, and I text them with a Caesar cipher. Um just to see that i'm a hacker man and i'm interested smart um, guy I said it was a sign you can't join a game what was the code word um so they text back uh it's all I've, i put everything in the report but they text back with another another caesar cyber that said thank you for reaching out we have a task for you enter the command mission into the prism website more info will be there have fun if you need any help text back so I came back here, entered the code mission on the prison website, and there was a command that popped up. Now, if you go to the prison report, it's 10495. <clears throat> uh, scroll down to the website section. Website section. It's near the bottom. Yep. And you'll see under mission, you'll see the, the I copy and pasted what, what it was. So it says, thank you for reaching out. Prism capture the flag. It says you're challenged to find four hidden flags all over this website. And it gave an example. Uh, as a hint, go buster and exit data. I have no idea what the fuck this was. Uh, once you get the flags, text them to Prism. We'll be in touch. Uh, if, you don't, if you can't find all of them, don't worry. It's meant to be challenging. I said, fuck that um so <laughs> under that you see capture the flag i found all four of them over the weekend oh. i i went crazy okay so i oh. ended up setting up a virtual linux machine on one of these computers i don't know what that is i still don't really understand it but i did it anyway um so what i did was i i set up a virtual machine i installed a linux image on there and then um spent a couple of hours trying to install GoBuster just for it to be four words of code and then i did it anyway um and then what i did was i found a word list on the interwebs that was about twenty thousand words long and i did a GoBuster of the website and managed to find a file hidden on the website called robots.txt you can actually go there if you want but anyway it was a, a, a web a, a site there and it says congrats you found the prism robox file as a reward for finding this file here take a flag so there was one there that had a nice little image of a robot so that was one of the flags and then the other one was uh i had to use a, a larger word list but i did find another um website that was prism.net slash documents and then on there there was a it was a prism document that says take a deep look dot mp4 you can go there but don't open the video because it will have some music on there um but i put the what music it is if you wanted to listen that listen to that another way um but once i i got that video i downloaded it i ran a i got the exif data from that so i got the metadata from that video using exif tool and then hidden in the metadata was a a bunch of these flags um all the same one called active measures 
So I managed to find them all. Um, but interestingly, um, apparently active measures was a term coined in the 1920s during the Soviet Union that was like, hold on, let me let me get it again. <clears throat> It was a term used to fucking. Sorry, it, was a, it was a term used to describe political warfare conducted by the Soviet Union and the Russian Federation. The term, which oh dates God. back to the 1920s, includes operations such as espionage, propaganda, sabotage, and assassination, based on foreign policy objectives of the Soviet and Russian governments. And the fact that they used that song, um, that song, I looked into that song a little bit. Uh, it basically that song's all about how it's about someone who no longer fears death and they would happily accept it so i don't know whether that's like all linked together or whether it was just a nice song they chose but um yeah, these guys are these guys are they're hacker men or hacker people and th yeah they're uh they're not messing about <clears throat> what do we what do we think that they're capable of currently i really don't know I really don't know, but clearly they they're looking for people who will go the extra mile. Um, because this took me like five, six hours. But maybe, you know, or Damn. but that's for someone who doesn't know anything. So but I'm sure if you knew what you were doing, it wouldn't take you very long, right? Uh but they're clearly looking for people who know what they're doing when it comes to computer stuff. Um yeah. so I don't know. I really don't know what they... I, I think these people are definitely looking to uh, go after the state in some capacity. And by by the looks of those text messages, they're looking to, I imagine, just expose the truth, um, whatever that might be. I guess what, what I'm curious of is what, yeah, what is their version or what, what is the truth that they have, so to speak? Like, what what is it that they think that they're going to be able to tell everyone? Because the, the text with Soze... I mean, none of that was bad. All of that looked like conversations with lawyers, and there was mm -hmm. one with Nino. I uh, can't remember the other one, but oh, Mr. Um, K. Oh yeah, Mr. K. Yeah, definitely an interesting one. Um, so, but but nothing in there looked illegal. He just looked like he was talking about his case in the majority of it, right? Yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. Um. I don't know what their their real goals are, uh, but obviously they're motivated. I think that's that's my concern here is they seem to have a level of motivation that obviously go through the extent to make this site, uh, go through the extent to put all these tapes out, make these tapes, make all these videos, do this capture the flag to, you know, I guess recruit people, right? Because this is a way to recruit people who are willing to go through all of this and have the ability to do it <clears throat> um they have removed stuff like like they're actively updating this website um because there was stuff that used to be in the, there used to be like an internal computer on there that's been removed and there's there's things that have changed around on the website so like it's actively being updated i mean obviously the phone stuff that wasn't on there when i first looked at it like a week ago uh um, yeah that's what i noticed the other day on the yeah i think it's new if, if, that, if you're, what you're saying is correct how, how do i watch this video the the take a deep look one am i am i stupid what am i missing here um go to prism.net slash documents oh it's yes 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 it's not an actual that's not an actual hyperlink i just colored it blue <clears throat> And then just make sure your your browser is muted because it will play some uh some audio that some music that's okay uh is it uh so prism.net slash documents that's it yes yeah the video's interesting that doesn't lead to anything you sure hold on let me check yeah. Have you done it with a capital D? I'll try that now.
That worked. Got it. Yeah. And the video is very interesting. I've screenshot every uh, frame of that. I just need to put it into a report. I'm just going to look at this on my <laughs> telephone. Give me one second. Oh, let me show you the robots page, by the way. This is the robots page, Chip. Yep. Buzz, buzz. They clearly wanted to play Metal Gear Solid yet. Is it just Prism.net? Now did they change the site? And they did. I'll change that. The robots page is actually available on the prison website. Yeah, everything's available through the website. Um, they're just like hidden. Yeah. Oh, the GitHub repo. What the fuck? You guys are... I spent so long doing it the fucking proper way. And you guys just looked at the fucking GitHub shit? Are you kidding me? <laughs> she is. Oh, I've got leftover pizza from last night. Cool, he's gonna put it on for me. Yum yum yum. Um, we're dealing with some TikTokers, Richard. <laughs> you think that so? That song right? is all over TikTok. It is. Uh... Oh yeah. I've heard it before, but not on TikTok because I don't have that installed. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, no, it's um that was uh I mean the video is interesting. Um it is. There's a lot of movie quotes in there. Like there's one, two, Freddy's coming for you. Uh yeah. Um there's Be Very Afraid, which I think is a quote from the fly. Be um, afraid. Be very afraid. Yeah. Um I'm gonna put them all in a separate report so it doesn't clog this up too much. Yeah, I've I've screenshot every every frame and I'll put them all in a separate report, but I don't I, I, I don't know whether that's that video means something or whether it was just used to put the flag in the the metadata, right? I really don't know. Could um, just be for the metadata thing. Also, mm -hmm. well done for figuring all that shit out. That must have been a long thing. It was but amazing it was. work. So I'm gonna text those flags to the, the number today. 
Um, I've got the phone in the evidence locker, so I'll do that today and hopefully get a reply. Okay. Um, what it's going to mean going forward, I don't know. Uh, um, I really don't know what they're going to give me. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely interesting. Um, if you ever need backup or whatever, I'd be very happy to help. Or if you need me to do anything, just say. Um, yeah. Um, I mean, could you have a look at the website and see if there's any uh, been any updates? Uh, I need to pee. Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. Um, is this... Wait, this isn't to do with besties, is it? Or is it? No, no, no. This is completely separate. This is a different case. So. Okay, sweet. All right, I'm going to go through the website. Give me time. All right. All right, I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'm not going to look at that surface. I'm not, I'm not going to look at that. I'm going to keep it all... Listen, let's let's be honest. In character, there's no GitHub page for these guys. Uh, all right, I'll be back. Uh. Oh, my God, Richard. Uh, <clears throat> what the hell? Do 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 do. <laughs> Is there a casing in here? Uh oh. Oh, I see what you mean, surface. Yeah. Okay, Greg, how you uh you you think you got this um Ryan situation handled right? Rain thing? Uh yeah. Yeah, I mean can I be honest with you? Straight sure. Down, I mean, I should. I should always be honest with you. The shoot, good shoot. 
as far as I'm concerned, all the evidence points to a good shoot. We'll have to talk to Pierce, get her side of things. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good shoot. Something else, something else is irking at me that isn't right. What's that? We got multiple different stories about why they went up there. Yeah, from uh, Johnson, right? Yeah. Initially, I heard it from multiple people. I can't remember who I heard it from first. Was that they were meeting with Jesse to discuss, um, like, passing on information about a criminal thing, mm -hmm. right? They were going to be CI stuff, but. Rain didn't say anything about that during the interview. Nope. At all. And oh, I I hate doing this because it always makes me seem like the bad guy, but that's the importance of doing a preliminary immediate interview is because there's different phases after an incident like that. Your memory gets really tweaked around and having that initial immediate interview of hey we just need the basic information your shit's going to be all fucked up your memory's going to be wild you're going to forget things it helps establish a foundation um and helps get the baseline of things but there's <laughs> things not lining up on this i do i suspect wrong do i suspect that he killed her intentionally? No. I think that was straight up a good shoot. But something else was going on that they're, they're hiding. I thought that when he couldn't answer clearly why he was up there. You know, like when you, when you asked him, well, I think it was Richard that asked him, why, what, what was the, why were you there? And he was like, uh, ooh, uh, mm, uh, well, uh, well, here's the thing, too, King. Right before you walked in, I started with he. He was. I let him just speak. I wasn't asking him any questions. We just let him speak. And can I help you? You could just walk around and pick that up. He didn't have to like reach around me. Sorry, little friend, say Craig. <sighs> That's fair. But uh, he <laughs> said uh, he got a phone call from her, and she was just rambling, and that she needed to talk. And that they were going to go talk somewhere personal that was personal to them from their heyday back in BBMC, the the old hangy hang around spot. And so I was like, oh, okay, cool. It's they met they they were going up there to talk personal stuff, non police related stuff. I don't have a problem with that personally. Sometimes you just need to be able to take that time to do that shit. But other officers, I overheard multiple other officers saying things like, oh yeah, they were meeting her. They were going to go up there to meet with her because she was going to pass on information about, uh, basically give them criminal information about criminal ongoings. And I, what we heard outside of the Sandy, sh the sheriff's office is not the first time I heard it. Somebody else said that on the original scene. And that little point is what's sticking in my brain of something else was happening. And I hate to be the dick because this guy literally just shot someone he was close with. Not that close. She's dead. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's the thing. Apparently they were, they were, they had a personal connection with each other. Rain's pretty tore up about it because he literally just killed somebody he knew for a long time. But something, I don't know. It's it's intuition. Not intuition. Red flags will go up. Yeah. Yeah. It's not everything's lining up right. That something else was going on. Um, God, you know, it's so... <laughs> oh, What's... I can see command reports. You saw that too? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um sorry. Probably just no, you're got fine. distracted the I did no, I just you're realized fine. I can see command reports now. I do the same fucking thing. I fucking bounce like uh, crazy. <clears throat> um I was just gonna say as well, Richard, there are there's a lot on that website. I don't know. Um have you got a report where you've gone through everything on the website? Um, 
it, 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 that report but i haven't added in all the different commands um so but there is a change log on there um yeah that's what i was about to mention so <laughs> yeah. i've got pictures of that so they give us the exact dates on everything so i've just i've just taken pictures of, of pretty much everything i saw there um so i'm just gonna i'm gonna create a report and just and just put it in there now unless you want me to put it into one that's already up just put it in that report put it in the the one that's already up in 10495 uh yeah i can't remember the report number uh so look that's the dossier yep. overview. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah, that one. Okay, I'll put them all in there. <laughs> oh, before I forget, you were talking about uh, somebody twatted about something. They said they or they overheard me. Uh, oh, yeah, no, that's what Idol. was that? Uh, so Idol twatted, about, twatted me about interesting profession choice. Uh, she was a Polito regular seven years ago. Uh, she was. I talked with her a lot, so I'm guessing she saw me outside the sheriff's office wearing the marshal uniform. That's probably what that was about. Fascinating career path, Greg. I don't think she overheard me talking. I think she saw me standing outside the sheriff's or saw me somewhere wearing uh. the marshal uniform because <laughs> she was a Polito regular back seven years ago. So I bet that's what that was about. Fair enough. I was just worried that people were listening in, you know? No, 100%. Legitimate concern. I just, once I looked it up, I saw it and I was like, oh, it's idol. I remember her. She was an artist. I almost, I actually commissioned some art from her. Have you gone through the statements page from prison, Richard? Uh, yeah, I have, yeah. Is there anything new? There's a cipher from the 21st of April. I'm assuming we've... Yeah, that's... Um, that's what already been documented. If you go to the PRISM report and then you go to... the There's an attached report called PRISM. It's 5336. So if you go to that one. That's back in April by Maisie Graves. <clears throat> if you scroll Where down... Where the fuck the, is Maisie? Good question. Good question. Uh, but there's the cipher's been done there. All, uh, it's been translated there. I'm going to email her and ask her, one, why she hasn't applied for marshals, and two, <laughs> she, she's already done all this. I don't need to do... She's a, Okay. Yep. I need to get in touch with her. That would be... Actually, she'd be a great pickup. It would. Um, yeah, I'm going to get in touch with her. Is that she is exactly the kind of person that would happily spend all day going through reports or going out there and looking into stuff. She doesn't give a shit about patrol shit. Well, maybe she does. I don't know. But I think she enjoys this kind of thing more, in my opinion. Yeah, 100%. Alright, I mean... Okay, well, I don't need to add these pictures. None of this stuff's... But that change log is very helpful. That is good. Dan Fisher's getting subpoenaed uh, regarding... Who's that? He was the other officer on scene of that, um, <clears throat> of that incident uh, at the observatory. Who's following him? The police, uh, because of a... Because he was attacked and kidnapped and woke up on the beach... He went Why would 40... they need to subpoena him? They just he wouldn't he just give them the phone, his phone? Maybe because of like calls and stuff like that. Because it happened on July thirtieth. So why oh, are they only doing see. it now? Who's doing that? Uh, oh, there it is. Uh, it's Kayo. Okay, this is the same officer that filed a, a murder case like a day late or something. Was it him? Yeah, this is the same one that was investigating a cop death and fumbled it. Oh, was it the Aziz? Oh, God. Yes, I'm still not happy about that. Okay. He spends too much time thinking, not enough action. That's my, that's my professional opinion. But... There may have also been other complications that I'm not aware of. So. Yeah, maybe. 
I could just be holding a grudge for no reason, but I don't know. I, I'm I'm still pissed that there was there's not there wasn't even a goddamn funeral, nothing, nope. and neither not for Rooker either, right? Nope. And now yeah. that Remington case, are you aware of what was happening with that? It got it got pushed to the docket, right? They got there was a warrant and everything. Yeah, it, was, it was weak as fuck. Even even Miguel thought it was weak as fuck, and the judge, as an angel, agreed with him. It got closed. Yeah, yeah. They dismissed the whole case. They, they gave that case it. to. Did you hear it? Yep, just no, they straight just dismissed up dismissed. It's because it was because it was shit. It was, it was nothing. But it, it's you know yeah. they so they have the forte was running that case. I no, was the it. one of the officers who was actually encouraging him to do stuff. I was like tagging him reports that was relevant. I was fucking uh, trying to get him to go and question Miguel. Um, I, I just, I was really trying to encourage him to get stuff done and to let him know that he has support where he needs it. You know, I had people, I had Jean Claude or, uh, Petit. Um, I had him uh, fully ID'd and then pointed out the fact that they had a very, very old picture and needed to get a new one. Never got him in custody. Um, yeah. And then he was fired. And then they gave the uh, case to Johnson. And Johnson had eight days at this point to do something. So, and Forte had done absolutely nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Johnson was, uh, yeah, I spoke to Johnson a bit about it. And, um, you know, the, I think they tried to get the raid done. And then I think that raid incident happened. Yes. Um, so, and then they only got to search one house. And I don't think they found anything. <clears throat> so yeah 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 all, they, I th all uh, they had was tweets right or something like that there were vague tweets circumstantial they, they had circumstantial evidence is what they had they had nothing mm -hmm. concrete and that that's why they needed to take that circumstantial evidence and turn it into actual evidence through questioning etc but they didn't do that but i don't know why how many murders need to like happen before they I actually do something and well this is my point this is what I kind of want to bring up to them and say look this can't this can't be the standard in, in my opinion I think high command and command should be all over those fucking investigations not necessarily doing the work for them but they should be checking it up on it like every time they get on duty to see where the investigation's at the other thing that PD does a lot and something that I'm going to strive to not do with investigations here is leave everything up until the point where it's just past statute or about to mm -hmm. pass the statute right um and that and that is another thing that i feel like has happened here like it was just too little too late you know i mean yep. johnson probably would have been a good person to put on it from the start um had he had more time maybe he would have been able to put something concrete together but he he wasn't awarded that luxury um yeah so i don't know i i just think they need to there needs to be a, a standard i know we keep on talking about police sops today there needs to be a standard where they have a command member assigned to watch over the case and, and keep them fucking moving. At no point should it even a, a case like that should ever be at risk of going over statute, ever. No, unless ever. there's yeah, reasoning for it, like you know, no in, no fucking evidence or whatever, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I I do want to bring that up to them, but I don't really know how to bring that up because I don't want to go to them and be like, you guys are shit. <laughs> But also, <laughs> it, it's kind of, you know, because that's, again, it's, it's another perspective thing, because that's how it will come across to them. They're just like, okay, I've, I, I left the department, and now I'm going to them and saying that they're shit. So I, I, I want to, like, I don't know. I, I just, like, I want to suggest it to Daisy and to Peters, uh, especially for LSPD, and then hopefully they can talk about it in BCSO as well. And I don't know. I, I just, you know, it's one of the major things for PD that I think is falling down is that brotherhood, sisterhood thing. And uh, when you have situations and cases that go you know, unsolved because of, I'm going to say it, lack of care. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know. Bad message to send. Has this yeah. police department solved a murder case yet that actually got charges? I don't think uh, so. No, um, Madison Bank Bancroft Bank case was successful, if I remember correctly. <clears throat> Two seconds, chat. I'll get my pizza.
<laughs> Alright, I'm back. Beans just fucking pushed my door open. To follow me for the pizza, man. You're not having any. It's mine. It's mine. <clears throat> Can we give these a trash? I don't have any actually. I'm looking. I don't have any. I'll get some. I'll get some for tomorrow. Sorry about that. Where's King going? Uh, he went to go take a piss break. I'm just putting up together, formatting my uh, OAS investigation. Uh, what do you think about the way I, I mean, we don't really have like form standard formats for some of these things. Uh, everything's like all preliminary until we can talk to more people ago. You like the way I let it do little breaks and stuff? Yeah, I, I've been feeling that, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't have a problem with that at all. Uh, no, I mean like how I'm separating it like preliminary summary and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Just, I don't know. That's good. I'm going to go with my initial assumption that it was a good shoot. <sighs> I just... We need to find out what other reasons there might have been there. And why yeah. he didn't tell us that in the first place. Oh, God. It seems so... What's, what's the word for it? Like... Uh... If I'm if I'm getting onto something, getting onto someone for doing something I've done, what's the word for that? I'm so fucking right now. Hypocrite, yeah, it's hypocritical for me to be suspicious of this person for this because I've I've literally been there. But that's also the reason why I'm suspicious of it because I've been there. The guy is married. To an ADMC member. Full patch member. I was literally engaged to a full patch member. So I get it. I 100% get it. I sympathize with the guy completely. Did I they can't say, hold imagine on. what the guy's going through right now. Did they say they were there for a murder investigation? Is that what they said? Huh? What are you when, talking about? When... When when Johnson said they were there for an investigation to get info, were yeah, they said him? they were. Yeah, he said they were meeting with Jesse to discuss a murder investigation, but that's not at all what what Rain I'm trying said. To think, what murder investigation? I mean, there's the Chastity case. So. I th I can't remember which one he said, but he did say one of those, and I think it was the Chastity. The, the Chastity. The name Chastity is ringing a bell, but it might just because I've seen that name in the thing <clears> recently. Uh, we can search by tag, right? There's a deceased tag, I think. I'm just thinking, as there, are, yeah, that's a good idea. Has there been any other deaths related to ADMC lately? Okay, maybe this tag isn't used as much as I would have thought it would have been. Uh, is there a murder tag? No. Reset my filters. What other tag could it be? We really need like a a standardized. I mean, deceased seems like a pretty standardized tag. Murder. When I search for murder, there's no murder tag. Responded to Abby. <clears throat> I 
Yeah, the only case I can think of is um. All right, I gotta, I gotta check it cool. Hello. I have Is a question. Quite? Yeah. No, not really. Um. You guys able to give out information on police cases or some shit like that? What do you think, Ru? Shot in the dark. I thought I may as well ask. No, no, I can't. That's all I want to ask. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know it won't help, but I'm sorry for what happened. Thank you. Just, um, don't do anything stupid now. It's not worth it. Try not to. If there's anything I can do that I can actually do, um, you call me back. Appreciate it. Quit. <clears throat> Bye. Bye. There a transcript to everything you said? Um, Dark has the recording, I think, right? Okay. All right. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll get that. You finalize the tape, sure. or whatever. Yeah. But it's just like so. One of the things like, I was like I was saying that's freaking <laughs> out is the fact that he said they were just talking about personal stuff, and other officers were saying that he was going up there to talk about a murder investigation. What's the officer's name? Is it Rain? Uh, Rain Cinefo. Rain Cinefo. Okay. Yeah, R E I N. 